this video we are going to talk about the gluteal ligaments so in this picture this is the sacrum there is a sacral bone and this is the coccyx here will be the posterior superior iliac spine this is the superior okay and this is the posterior inferior iliac spine inferior iliac spine okay this is the inferior one and this foramen here is the greater sciatic foramen this spine like structure is the ischial spine and this is the lesser sciatic foramen and this tuberosity is the ischial tuberosity studying about the gluteal ligaments is very necessary because of the most important structures passing in this region so the most important gluteal ligaments are the first one is the sacrotuberous ligament and the second being the sacrospinous ligament so these two ligaments are called as gluteal ligaments so this is the posterior superior iliac spine and this is the posterior inferior iliac spine this is the greater sciatic foramen and this is the lesser sciatic foramen and this spine is the ischial spine and this tuberosity is the ischial tuberosity this is the sacrum and this is the coccyx so let's talk about the first ligament that is the sacrotuberous ligament as the name indicates it starts from the sacrum that is from the sides of the sacrum and the coccyx and it attaches to the ischial tuberosity so the name indicates sacrotuberous ligament so this is the origin that is from the sacrum and the side of the coccyx here in this diagram this entire ligament is the sacrotuberous ligament this sacrotuberous ligament is a broad band of the fibrous tissue which extends from the sides of the sacrum and the coccyx to the medial aspect of the ischial tuberosity so as you can note this attaches medially to the ischial tuberosity and the second important ligament of the gluteal region is the sacrospinous ligament as the name indicates it extends from the ischial spine to the side of the sacrum and the coccyx so the name sacrospinous so this is the sacrospinous ligament it is a triangular ligament that is a triangular sheet of the fibrous tissue which extends from the ischial spine to the side of the sacrum and the coccyx the sacrospinous ligament and the sacrotuberous ligament converts the greater sciatic notch and the lesser sciatic notch into the greater sciatic foramen and the lesser sciatic foramen so this curve shape is the greater sciatic notch and here is the lesser sciatic notch these two ligaments that is the sacrospinous and the sacrotuberous ligament convert the greater and the lesser sciatic notches into the greater and the lesser sciatic foramens here the greater sciatic foramen is a way for the structures leaving the pelvis and entering the gluteal region so here the main structures like the sciatic nerve and the superior and inferior gluteal vessels passes from the pelvis and they enter the gluteal region and from the lesser sciatic foramen it is a pathway for the structures which enters the perineum so the perineal structures are the pudendal artery and the nerve so this is about the gluteal ligaments which is the sacrotuberous and the sacrospinous ligament and remember the greater sciatic foramen is considered as the door of the gluteal region where through which all arteries and nerves enter into the gluteal region from the pelvis so this is called as the door of the gluteal region we will learn about the structures passing through the greater sciatic foramen and the lesser sciatic foramen in the upcoming video so guys this is all about 
the gluteal ligaments. If you like this video, do subscribe to my channel.